Yes, I'm kind of bright and cheery despite how what time of the morning it is. I know, right? Okay, I'll be back. everybody it is 7 1 a.m. Sunday July 31st I know right it's like what crack of dawn we are getting ready to go on a road trip that's right so my dad and Bob and I are driving from the Portland Oregon area to the Salt Lake City area we're gonna go spend a week at my sister's house and I'll bring you with us we'll be back Dad's talking to a bird. I it on camera because I was. No, I didn't get it on camera because I was too busy moving a bird. A little baby bird. He looks like he's lost or something, and we moved. Yeah, we put him under a tree to be safe. I told the young man he's over there. You can see him under the tree right now, seeing what he can do. Um, yeah, anyway. Wait a minute. Cute little oh, rest stop. I'll follow you. <laughs> they don't want to be on camera. Anyway, cute little rest stop. We stopped and have lunch, had lunch. We're just outside Idaho, so we'll hit the road and we'll keep going now that I've done my job and rescued a bird. Because that's the thing. Idaho uh, stopped for gas and got drinks out of the back. I got some coffee. I think we're still about four or five hours from my sisters, so it's all good. Anyway, it is hot here. Glad I don't have sleeves on because holy cow. <sighs> I'll be back.
are in Tremonton, I think is how you pronounce it, Utah. We stopped to get some more gas. We're gonna stop and get a quick dinner and then we'll head to my sister's. We're just a little over an hour from her house, but it's been a long day, so anyway. We're filling up my dad's truck and then we'll go find something to eat, I guess. I'll be back. I am taking this opportunity to vlog. The two of the guys are out running errands. My dad and sister are downstairs doing some electrical work and I'm up here checking on YouTube and stuff. And uh, yeah, we obviously made it safely to Utah and uh, we'll be spending the next few days here. This is their dining room slash game room. Isn't it cool? All of those are filled with game pieces. So cool. Anyway, I'll bring you with us where I can. I think we're doing a couple of fun things tomorrow, including there's a car show. I think there's some thrifting or salvaging or antiquing or something going on. Uh, family dinner out. My sister made me a homemade chocolate chip cheesecake for my birthday. Yeah, I might have to break my diet for that. Yeah. All right. I'll be back. My sister's a retired hairdresser, so our first stop today after a lazy lay-in and rest up after the long drive yesterday was a trip to the beauty supply store to get some stuff for my hair. So cool. Then we stopped at the hardware store to get some stuff for her house, and now we're gonna go have something to eat. I'll be back. Okay, it's Tuesday afternoon, August 2nd. Yes, I almost said April. April is not my birthday. Today is my birthday. Um, we are, we started off the day with my dad not feeling well and then Elizabeth having to rub cream on his back and his rear end because that was fun. Yeah, his butt crack. She got to see his butt crack this morning. And now, yes, we are at a salvage, architectural salvage place. It's pretty interesting. We're gonna go out to dinner. We're gonna go to a car show. I'll bring you with us where I can. We're having a lot of fun. I will be back. good because we're at a car show but none of us can remember the name he keeps trying to leave and get out of the camera range rolling i just keep moving the camera rolling i don't know but it's a car show very cute behind us there you go yeah. and anyway my dad stopped to make friends with everybody because that's who he is thank the police officers and fire department for their service because that's who he is and, and, and i made sure they were talking to the former firefighter so they knew exactly. where i've been exactly yep. He also stopped and made friends with the people at the health booth and got us all free COVID tests and stuff. And yeah, saw some nice cars. We did, saw some great cars. I'll put yep. some pictures here. And I did some drawings, I did some sketching, and uh, yeah, so it's all good. We're gonna head back to my sister's, I think, and have cake. Because it's birthday. Because it's my birthday, and who doesn't love cake? And so, coffee. And coffee. I need some coffee. I'll be back.
everybody. It is about 4.30 in the afternoon on Wednesday, August 3rd. We are at my sister's house still. Uh, we haven't done as much as expected um, in regards of seeing and doing things in Utah because my dad came down with mild altitude sickness. But we have had a great time. Last night we out, went out to dinner to this Italian place. I'm gonna put the name right here rather than butcher the pronunciation. <laughs> It was like eating at Nana's house. The pasta, the smells of the sauce, like, oh my God, I wish my Nona was still here. <sighs> we also went to a really great place up in uh, Park City, Park City, I think. Uh, if I can get the name for my sister, I'll put it here. And I had a fig and goat cheese pizza. I know it sounds weird, but oh my God, it was delicious. I'm probably having the rest of it for dinner tonight. And I do want to turn the camera around. I'm going to show you what my sister's view is from her front yard. Because, oh my God. Her view from her front yard, people. Like, I wouldn't be mad about it. Other Hello. than dad being sick, it's been a fun visit. But we did we do as much as expected? No. But that's okay. Not a problem. Anyway, she's got a cute little house. Her and her husband. And it is cutely decorated. There's little fairy stuff everywhere. Like, how cute is that? Do you see that? Like, it's just all over the place. It's so cute. Anyway, I'm gonna go sit and have some snacks and watch some YouTube. Now the dad is home. Yes, he's on medication. We actually took him to urgent care. I think he's gonna be just fine, but we're gonna let him take a nap and rest and let the meds kick in. And hopefully tomorrow we can get up to more stuff, but we'll see. I'll be back. I don't think after what happened with your, back. with your back and driving to Utah for 12 hours that you can in January <laughs> by yourself go to Mike's without having a problem. What is your reply to that? <laughs> what did you say? I said I agree. Got it on tape. <laughs> How it just froze over, but we have it on tape. How it froze over. So we're at the motorcycle museum. I have no idea if I'm gonna be able to edit the background music out, but totally didn't expect to see artwork. Like, hello. I do not have the patience to paint that realistically, but that is truly a painting. Can we admire that for a minute? 
Let me turn the camera around, I'll show you some more. I've been a bad vlogger this week and haven't kept up with dates and times, but there you go. It's what happens when you spend vacation with family, right? Uh, these are my reading glasses, by the way. Um, it's Thursday, August 4th at 6.34 p.m. My dad is better, but is he up to a drive home? In case I haven't said on camera yet, um, we did plan a lot more things for this week than we did, but my dad came down with altitude sickness because he didn't listen to anybody and didn't drink enough water. So if you're gonna go to a higher altitude than where you normally live, drink water, follow the directions. Anyway, he's also in his 80s and he's a very stubborn Italian man because, you know, um, that's where I get it from. I, can't, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Uh, I don't know if he can. He also has a bad back, so I'm not sure he's going to be able to be in the car for 12 hours to get home. He's not sure yet. He may be flying home in a couple of days and staying here. Um, he may be coming home with us, but laying down in the back of the car, and Bob and I will take turns driving. I don't know yet. You guys will find out when I do. Um, in the meantime, I'm downstairs. The boys are all watching a war movie 
My sister's got some studying. She's taking Italian lessons, so she's doing that. And um, I'm gonna come downstairs and start putting dirty clothes in my empty suitcase because it's gotta be done at some point. And we're leaving at oh dark 30 tomorrow, as my dad would say. So let's do that, shall we? Stopped at a truck stop. We're gonna grab some food, potty break, and all that stuff before we hit the road and head more towards Portland. I'll be back. A really bad joke before we leave. We're in bliss. <laughs> bliss, Idaho. <laughs> we won't be in bliss, bliss until we get home and unpack. I know, it was terrible. I am aware. I'll be back. morning everybody it is like 9 36 or something in the morning saturday august 6th we're headed out to go for a walk before it gets too hot we are puppy sitting today so derpy girl aka grand dog lily is here while the kids go run errands and do stuff with polly is his sister who's in town with her family visiting and uh we don't have much to do except wait around for my dad's flight to get in. He, as you all know, wasn't up to making the um, car ride home. So he's flying in. His flight keeps getting delayed. So at this point, it looks like he's coming in at 2.34 p.m. or something this afternoon. So we're gonna just relax and hang out at the house. I've got the laundry done. We've already got all of our bags unpacked. Bob and I are pretty quick about stuff that way. Anyway, yeah, put away laundry, pre yeah, we haven't put it away, but it's clean. Um, but we also haven't been walking in like two weeks because of the weather. It's just been so bad. And, you know, during the week, it's hard to go out on these morning walks before it gets too hot because Bob's working. So we're going to take advantage today, get some steps in, see what we can see. I'll bring you with us. I'll be back. We're over by the park, walking down, not too far into the wild areas, but down far enough we can go see the Tualatin River. You can tell we live in a land of much water because everything's very tall. 
So as I've said, my dad wasn't able to um, make the long car ride home, so he's flying. So Bob is driving his car, I'm driving my car, and we're gonna go pick him up at the airport. My dad is stubborn as all hell, which doesn't surprise my husband or my sister's husband because his daughters are stubborn as all hell too. Anyway, <laughs> um, he is determined he's getting himself home today. Um, so that's why we're driving two cars. And the idea is Bob's gonna pick him up at the airport. I'm gonna wait outside the airport. Um, they're gonna come around. My dad will drop Bob off. And um, Bob and I will go home and dad will go home. His home is about an hour and a half from the airport. Whether or not he feels up to it by the time he gets off the plane, I don't know. Will he maybe end up coming to my house for a day or two? Maybe. I don't know what's going to happen, so I guess we'll find out together, right? Yeah. I'll be back. I came upstairs to close the vlog and turn the computer off because Bob is watching movies downstairs. And pretty sure that's going to be a copyright issue with YouTube. <laughs> anyway, hang on. She's down right there. So my hands are free. Um, it has been an interesting week. It wasn't exactly what I expected, but it was fun nevertheless. It was great to see my sister and her house. She bought it. Uh, right before COVID became a thing, about the same time we bought this house. And between the two of us moving and getting settled and then COVID, I haven't seen her house until now. Um, it was really cute. I love the neighborhood and hello, the view from her front yard, really great. Anyway, so it's been good. I, you know, dad getting sick. I mean, those of you with elderly parents know that just things happen. So anyway, we're trying to get him to take better care of himself, but you know, he's going to be okay. He's home now and I'm going to drive up there Wednesday to go with him to his doctor's appointment and all of that stuff and nag the crap out of him about taking better care of himself. You know, as one of the kids, it's my job, kind of. Anyway. <sighs> That's for next week's vlog. I'm hoping to get a lot of art done too. I didn't get art done last week because dad was sick and I got a little bit, but not a lot. And I have a ton of stuff to catch up on. So hopefully I can get that done when I'm not driving up to help dad. But we'll see and again in next week's vlog. Anyway, I'll leave relevant links um, down below for different things that we did do and see and restaurants we ate at in Salt Lake City. A couple of really, really good ones. And um, yeah, the next time you all are in the area, there's a lot to see and do there. I didn't get to the Leonardo this time, which is sort of an art museum installation place. I would love to go. I'm hoping on my next trip I can go. But we did do a lot of what we intended to do. Uh, not everything, because, you know, anyway... But there's a lot to see and do there, and um, I do encourage it. And uh, yeah, don't forget to take care of your family, take care of yourself, drink your water. If you're going to visit a higher altitude than you normally are used to, and they tell you you should drink extra water a few days before, just do that. Listen to them. They do know what they're talking about. All right, get your drink your water, uh, get your exercise, take care of yourself, eat right, Stay safe, stay healthy, stay creative. Don't forget to go out and do something nice to your, for yourself, not to yourself, for yourself, maybe and to yourself, because you deserve it. Like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next week. Bye, guys.